So you like writing about murder, Mr. Poe? Well, um, <laughs> I suppose you could certainly say that. No, there's no supposing involved, Mr. Poe. Not a shred, I'm certain of that. I must confess, however, that this case looks exceedingly grave against this young man. And it is very possible that he is indeed the culprit of these slayings we've been having. And that's what I believe possessed him to commit these crimes back then. He raped, he killed, and he served these poor girls up in meals. What could you ask for? Do you honestly want me to answer that? Go spend some time with a formerly convicted killer. He's now helping the homeless. Can't wait for that. Woo! You will stay at his residence for the next two weeks until the biography is completed in its rough form, or at least first draft. What if, uh, what if I refuse? What else is there? This man was, and I knew about his sick ways. Do you understand? I knew. I knew. And I did nothing. I did nothing. I let it happen. Those, those muted screams that I heard from coming from downstairs. I knew that those weren't his patients, as he told me. He, he, he made me keep his secret. He made me. I was so scared. What do you do with them? What do you do with these women? Uh, I mean, surely they're missed. I treat them, Mr. Poe. You treat them? Yes, they're here for treatment. I need all your strength for uh, what's in store tomorrow. Immersion, phase three, heart maintenance and uh, treatment. You'll be going on a little ride with Mr. Peoples so that you can see some of the other techniques we use around here. The uh, third must be I suggest you eat it all, for you never know when you'll get another meal. <laughs>